my goodness, everybody remain calm. Good morning, my loves, how are we? We have had a very, very large week in which four days ago we exchanged contracts on our house, which means that we legally have a freaking house. <laughs> Two days from now, we're gonna go pick up the keys and we're gonna go move into our first ever house. <laughs> so this is our last few days in the van. And this week also is around about the six month mark of us living full time in the van. So I'm gonna answer four questions looking back on our time in the van in this video. And those are gonna be the best thing about living full time in a van, the worst thing about living full time in a van, uh, how much money we've saved by living in the van for six months. And the really juicy one I'm gonna save for last is would I live full time in a van again? For me, the best thing that has come from six months of living in the van is the new personality trait that I have unlocked, which is patience. Because in the van, like two people can't be doing something at once. So a lot of times you have to just accept that you're just going to be standing and waiting for the other person to be finished what they're doing. That time is not productive. You're just not doing anything. You're just waiting. And that was very difficult for me to wrap my head around at first. But now that I have my head wrapped around the concept that that is okay, <laughs> um, I've definitely become a way more patient person. So I think that that's been a fabulous thing that's come from the van. I'm a much more patient person than I was six months ago. Look at these fucking tatties, my guys. Look how much they've grown. <laughs> I actually cannot believe it. I feel like I'm being um, pranked, like, do you know, in the office when Jim gives Dwight the magic beans. I feel like that's what's happening every time I come and see them. So the worst thing about living in the van has definitely always been the lack of independence. Um, because I live in the van with my partner who works a full-time office job um, I have <laughs> I, initially when we moved down here I had to go uh, I had to go two months without work because I just couldn't find a job that would fit with his schedule and that was incredibly difficult um, I as we've discussed I, I like to be productive all the time so it was very difficult being unemployed for that long. It's the longest time I've ever been unemployed in my life. Um, and also just the fact that like, you have to keep the same schedule. Like if I want to go and do nothing on the weekends, because sometimes, like I'm very, very introverted, so I need days of like complete darkness of watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine in bed all day to like, <laughs> to replenish my energy sources. And I can't do that in the van because Lewis is the opposite and he needs to go and, oh, the microphone's pointed the wrong way. Gosh, dang it. Oh. I can't believe that. All that audio is gonna, just gonna be trash. I'll just subtitle it, it's fine. <laughs> um, what was I even saying? Yeah, the lack of individuality. Um, you know, you can't do what you need to do a lot of the time, and that's tricky. Um... Right, money, 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 money. Um, oh, actually, first, before we discuss money, uh, I'm gonna share the gory story about my first tattoo, because <laughs> uh, enough people asked about it in the comments. So. Uh, this tattoo was the first one I ever got on my 18th birthday and if you've had a tattoo before you know that they scab over it's like part of the healing process and you have to do all you can to protect the scab because it's going to make the tattoo last longer and be better and all that stuff so hey so all scabbed over right I'm in the shower I'm wearing my freshers bracelet because I was at uni at the time and the it was one of those week long bracelet things so it had that metal clasp on it I'm sure you'll know what I mean so I'm in the shower doing my thing and the metal clasp just whees the whole scab off the tattoo when I'm in the shower and I'm like oh my god what do I do oh my god because it's ripped 
all the way down to the lower epidermis so as in like you could see the ink like the ink it had ripped so much of my skin off that the ink was just sitting there it was just sitting in in my wrist and I had to make the decision to literally just go like that and just tip the ink out into the shower let it wash away and then <laughs> go back to the tattoo artist and be like oh my god what do I do and they were like oh my god I've never seen this before what have you done and I had to wait like two years for it to fully heal over to get it re-tattooed so I just had this yin yang with a massive white patch in the middle of it and now I have a permanent scar there um, so 3D tattoos, y'all. <laughs> okay, so back to money, 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 money. Uh, this one is somewhat subjective because everyone has a different, like, standard of living from, like, a rental apartment and, like, different areas of the different countries all cost different amounts. But for us, two people, two dogs living in the Sheffield area, cheap as you can possibly get, we would expect to pay about £700 a month in rent. You're then looking at about £150 council tax and £150 for bills. So the van's bills are very minimal because we have a solar panel for all our electricity. So it's really just the diesel heater. And that obviously usage is very different in the winter to the summer. But on average, like averaging it out over the year, it's about £10 a month on fuel. And then fuel to actually run the van. Because obviously this is like a three and a half ton boy of a thing. Uh, it costs a lot more to move it places than it would if you just had a normal car. So I think we probably spend about an extra £100 a month over what you would already spend like if you just had a car instead. So minus that from that and you get 890 pounds that's the difference every month times that by six and you get 5340 pounds saved in six months of living in the van that's a really exciting number that is a very exciting number you know as first-time buyers we are now like probably in the most debt that we'll ever be in our entire lives lol mortgages but it's good debt good debt but <laughs> it's it's nice to see these kind of numbers you know i was gonna go like change background just to keep the video interesting and like go and sit um inside for the next question but i'm actually really comfy out here in the shade so um i'm probably just gonna stay here for the rest of the video if that's okay i'm very comfortable so it's the big juicy question time would i live full time in a van again um yes i would but i hesitate to answer because Shit's been really tough for us, especially like the past few weeks. Like it's been really difficult. Um, but I think that's more because of everything else that's going on like in the world. So obviously like uh, I've just literally finished uni this past week, like finished my first year, like for summer holidays, I mean. Um, so I've just stopped doing that. I've been working like at least three, if not four days a week. I've been trying to put out well I have been putting out a YouTube video that I'm actually proud of like every single week I also have two dogs and we're trying to buy a friggin house um, so I'm experiencing symptoms of burnout in like a pretty big way at the moment which is definitely to be expected when you look at the schedule I'm trying to keep um, and I think that that has definitely tainted my feelings towards the van recently but I mean very recently like it's been like the past two weeks things have been really difficult because everything takes way longer everything is harder nothing in the van is easy getting dressed not easy brushing your teeth not fucking easy dealing with your rubbish not easy you know when you when you poop in the toilet that's not the last time you know you you flush it that is not the last time that you're going to see that poop you're going to see it again when you have to empty it once a week <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like everything is difficult and everything takes so much longer than if you're in a house so just because i'm feeling burnt out and because like i've got so many other things to be doing i found it really hard recently but in saying that, I have had some of the nicest times of my life in the past six months in this van with the love of my life. The van has brought me so much happiness living in it.
just, I maybe would say to someone, like, <laughs> if you're gonna do what we did and live in the van, live in our van so that you can buy a house, that it's a great idea. It makes it super easy in terms of like not having a chain or like not having any commitments to like deadlines and stuff. It was super helpful, also the whole money saving aspect. But maybe just like be mindful of the other things in life. Like I've tried to take on a bit too much in reality. Um, oops. <laughs> so yeah, I would say do it. It's a good idea, but just manage the rest of your time better. Don't overwhelm yourself. Like, I don't think enough people realize that living full time in a van is a part time job in itself. Like the amount of time that you have to put into every little thing that you do in a day, um, it is a part time job in itself. So yeah, with that said, I'm gonna shut up about that. <laughs> So I don't know what is going to happen with this van when we move into the house. We're definitely selling it, but the van market is not doing so hot at the moment. So we may hold on to it until like next spring and then try and sell it. But it's not big enough for like our future plans. Like I want to have four children, okay? <laughs> Putting that out there. This van is not big enough for that shit. So like <laughs> we're going to buy, probably within the next four years, we're going to buy a long wheelbase. We're going to do it up ourselves. We're going to have a shower in it, which it was going to be a brilliant addition. You know, we're going to have a proper seating area, bunk beds and shit. It's going to be sick. But yeah, so this van definitely has served its purpose for us. Um, and we, yeah, we are now at the point where we are outgrowing this van. I am not pregnant, by the way. Like, I'm just, I'm fantasizing. <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely like, this van is too small for us for like our future plans. So yeah, going forward, we're going to be renovating the house. Then we're going to buy another van. Um, and then we're going to renovate that or build that. So yeah. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I love you so much and I will see you next Wednesday for a friggin' house tour, boys. We're gonna have a house tour on the channel. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I love you so much. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. <laughs>